Hi, my name is Bernie Maloney of Powered by Teams and Agile Consultancy based in Silicon Valley here with another episode of Agile 5 by 5 where we give you short video tips to help you amplify and accelerate your results with Agile. Today's topic is hints for tipping the scale of resistance to Agile. So have you ever tried to introduce Agile and you've met with resistance? pretty common sort of a situation. Today I'd like to offer you three hints for how to tip that scale and start to overcome that resistance. And if you stick around all the way to the end, I'm going to make a no cost offer to you to help you with that. So the first hint that I want to give you is cultural inertia. Let me ask you, the markets that you serve, are they moving faster or slower than they were, say, five or 10 years ago? Most people say faster. Great. The technology that you use to serve those markets, is that moving faster or slower than it was, say, five or 10 years ago? Most people are going to say faster. When things are moving faster, um, are they easier or harder to plan and predict? Most people say harder, yet most organizations still try and plan and predict things. Why is that? Well, my theory is because their organizational culture was formed before the internet when things move slowly and they could plan and predict things. And that leads to them having a mental model of the organizational system being a machine. You're going to hear a lot of language like that in industry. Um, things like metrics, okay? That's indicative of that mental model of a machine, which you can plan and predict. But in a fast moving environment, one that's changing, you probably want something that's going to sense and respond. So a better mental model of the system is as an organism or an ecosystem, one that can inspect and adapt to its environment. Okay, so now hmm, you're, you're sold on this whole idea of changing that mental model, but here's where hint number two comes in and resistance to change of human beings and the entire human system that's there in an organization. You've probably heard Bruce Tuckman's terms of forming, storming, norming, and performing. But when I cover this topic, I like to draw it as a satire curve. Virginia Satir was a contemporary of Bruce's. They were both psychologists and pictures are worth a thousand words. Virginia drew this as performance over time, and she talked about it like you're going along, you got a certain status quo, then a foreign element enters and you descend into chaos until you have a transformative idea, and then through some practice and integration, you start to rise to a new level of performance. And Bruce's terms of forming, storming, norming, and performing fit on that curve really well. This is just describing what happens to human beings. Think in January, when people make New Year's resolutions, ooh, that's a forming event. I'm going to get fit and healthy, but then a couple of weeks in, oh, this is so hard. And what do human beings want to do? They want to go back to the way things were. You got to recognize this. Even when you introduce Agile in your organization, because you want to get to a new level of performance, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Now, it is possible with really good coaching, maybe even some training, to shorten and shallow that initial part of the curve and accelerate and amplify the arrival of performance. But something that's even bigger is getting your leaders on board and starting to change that mental model. And that's where I want to give you a point of leverage. So you've got an organizational system and it's got a lot of that inertia that's in there. The tools, the processes, the practices that you've learned, they're great, but they're not enough to tip the scale. They can be adopted in command and control in a plan and predict sort of a fashion. Ooh, okay, when you hit that, you got to reach a little bit deeper, maybe into the values and principles in Agile. That's going to require some structural, maybe even cultural change. Ooh, culture change can be hard. I've got hints on how to do that if you ask me. So um, really what you want to be doing is moving even further out, okay, to try and tip the scale. And you want to start changing that mindset, that mental model. That's where you start to get to a resilient learning organization. But mindset's really squishy. It's really hard um, to like figure it out. Here's one of the hints that I like to do. I break mindset down into beliefs and behaviors. If you start to change the beliefs about what's possible, and if you're watching this video, you probably have some strong beliefs that Agile is possible. Once you start to change those beliefs in an organization, you can start to change the behaviors. And a great point of leverage to do that is to start changing the beliefs of your leaders. Now, let me ask you, how many of you would like have an organization that'd love to get a 10% improvement in effectiveness. Most people raise their hand when I ask that. Here's what's actually possible. 10% is easy. All you got to do is start um, eliminating the handoffs that are going on in your organization. Here's what's really possible when you start to apply Agile. 2 to 5x. And I have a no-cost demo that I'll be happy to bring into your organization of eight leaders or more if you reach out to me that can start to show that 
and start that conversation to start changing their beliefs about what's possible. All you have to do is reach out to me on the contact information that you're going to find right there. Send me a note. Tell me that you've got eight liters or more that you're willing to put into a free lunch and learn of about 45 minutes, and I'll be happy to set up some time with you on your calendar. That's something that you can do to start shifting the beliefs in your organization, start tipping the scale so that you can get traction with Agile. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please like it here and share it across your social networks. I'm Bernie Maloney of Powered by Teams. Until the next video, be well, stay vibrant.